Hey Virgo, happy Saturday. What is your reading for today regarding the Taurus in your life? Okay, messages for you and Taurus. Have an Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups. It's a great beginning. You know what? I just feel like this energy feels very good for you. Um, this is a fellow earth sign for you. I feel like it's like, well, are we going to get together or what? The energy feels good to me. What about you? Okay. I mean, it's, it could have the potential for some deep love here. It's meaning to this. Uh, we got the Ace of Cups and we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning for both of you all, like a, a huge start. Um, I feel like it started all. It started out, it started off beautifully for you all. Um, and we got the four of pentacles. Hold on to this person. Hold on. Maybe there's some decisions that need to be made on your part or on their part. But for the most part, the the, the most important thing of all is, is this was this is a beautiful emotional connection for you all. Happiness here, being tied to each other, an intense feeling for both of you all. It's not um superficial. Not by a long shot. It's not the kind of energy that you think that that's going to fizzle out. No, it's only going to get stronger. It's only going to get stronger. It's only going to get stronger. I feel like um, there's some worry here, but you don't have to. You all have manifested one another. This is the good fortune that you've been waiting for. Good fortune in the relationship. This is a faded connection. It's going to make all of your desires come out. A new beginning. This is rewarding yourself with love. Uh, the Taurus rewarding themselves with love too. Both of you all together. Wow. Mm -hmm. Both of you all together. Amazing chemistry. Hold on. Hold on. Do y'all see this two cup just popped out? Hold on to love. Okay. Hold on to what you have here. Um, I feel like this is this is everything that you want. You all are going to mirror each other 100 percent what they want. You want the qualities that you have. They have. It's like they met their final. It's like they're finally met, met and you finally met the right one for you. Your other half, your true other half. It's like amazing. If this is some energy that you really want to be in, this is an opportunity, Virgo, to where you say, I'm glad I'm a Virgo. I'm so glad I'm a Virgo because this energy around you is so beautiful. It's so amazing. So amazing to be loved. I follow you to the moon. And you know that song. I put it in the comments, okay? They are, they're, you're so amazed, amazing to them and they're so amazing to you. That may just be your song. The Ace of Swords. I mean, really, it's, it's so beautiful. Here we have another major arcana, the Ace of Swords. This is a new opportunity for both of you all. You're not going to let anything hinder you. I just heard you're not going to let anything interfere with your flesh. Okay? No cheating, no lying, no stealing, no nothing. Just beautiful chemistry. Okay? Beautiful emotional love toward one another. It's not going to be, like I said, superficial. It, this person means what they say. And, and they do what they say they're going to do. They're not going to leave you hanging. They're going to, all the things that you talk about, all the dreams that you all want, it's going to be there. Um, but allow this person to come in and, and show you what love is, as well as you showing them what love is. Because up until this point, you've been fooled, you've been bamboozled, you've been lied to, all of the above. Okay, but this person... They're not going to, to treat you in a negative way. They're going to be there for you. They're going to be the love that you want. I like, they're going to be like the catalyst to change you. Some things in your life that you have always wanted to change. You felt that you couldn't control it. Perfect opportunity for this male or this female to come in and, and show you truly what a blessing you are to others and how they are a blessing towards you. There's going to be breakthroughs in your life here. You've been through some challenges. This is a relationship that's going to help you ease through that pain of the past because they're going to help you heal and they're going to help you stay focused here. This is going to be a relationship that's, that's destined to, to thrive, destined to grow, destined to put you, destined to put you on that level of a higher level love. They're going to look out for you. They're going to watch you. They're going to open their lives to you. They're going to open their hearts to you and you're doing the same. 
This is the love that you've wanted, the love that you've been waiting for. But, you know, we got some fear here. Um, I have the five of cups there. there because Y'all let go of the past, okay? Y'all let this person come in and love you. Give this person a fair shake, a fair shot, okay? Don't be so afraid of the depthness of this relationship that it screws it up forever and you lose out uh, on a good thing. Don't want to do that. You don't want to build that wall up so high that this person can't jump it to get to your heart. You got to let them in. You got to let her in. You know, you know, you're crying over some things that are over with and, and hurt and distraught. And I get that. I understand this person didn't do anything to you, Virgo. Stop holding on to that. That's going to be the one thing that messes you up. If nothing else, you being afraid to move forward with this person because of what you felt before. You've been hurt so very deeply before. They've broken your heart and shattered it into so many pieces. Now that you put it back together, unknowingly to you, the right one is coming along. Don't fuck it up. All right. You got this wish fulfillment. You got this person that's coming in. And when they see you, they're going to know that, oh my gosh, I've been fulfilled just by looking at Virgo, just by meeting Virgo. Okay. I feel like I've been redeemed. You know, I feel like this person is, is going to be redeemed. Everybody's done some shitty stuff in their relationships. And that doesn't make you an exception. So have you. So you're all redeeming yourselves and each other in this beautiful connection. You're learning how to love again. And so are they. I'm hearing ready to love again, Lady Antebellum. I'll put those, both of those songs in the comments. Ready to love. Oh, gosh. I mean, just really, really, just look. Just look. Will of Fortune. They're coming. Okay. You never thought that you would find love like this. You never thought that you will you will experience something so incredibly emotional. But here we are, sister. Here we are, brother. Let's do this. Yes, you let's unite in love. Because ooh. so you're you're at a, a, a turning point in your life right now, in your life's journey, the things that you have been experiencing. But you know, that's your energy here. That's their energy. That's your energy. And you're, you're all coming to the exact same divine place at the same exact time. They're closer than you think because you have to make some changes in your life. And so have they. You, you've decided to make some changes. I don't care if it's a move, a relocation. Maybe you're moving from one house, one property to another, one job to another. Whatever it is, that's where you're going to find love. It's, it's really, really closer than you think. Sorry, this thing is not one to focus today. Mm. But yeah, whatever this energy is around you, I feel like you got to open up. You got to be at peace with where you are and be at peace on the journey that you don't know anything about. Because I think that they're a little bit closer to this journey than you are, but you're really, really close to one another. The energy is saying, I'm right here, closer than you think. Okay. This is a turning point for you. It's time for you to take control of your feelings, the things that you've been through. Your life cycles are changing. This is a beautifully faded connection coming your way. Be flexible, be open, be coachable, be teachable. Open up to the transformation of love and stop hanging on to that past pain. You've got to move on. You've got to figure out a way to let that go and allow this beautiful faded connection to come into your life. I'm hearing to come into existence. We deserve love. We deserve happiness. We deserve a spouse, significant other, that's going to love us very, very deeply. But how can that happen if we're still tied to the past heartache and pain? Let it go. Mm. 